from code review io in this video we'll talk about contentful so what is contentful it's a cloud-based headless cms content management system it's allowed developers to choose the framework and code languages that they prefer to build a custom front-end the backend and the apis are handled by contentful and customized according to the website's needs content management system is the backend of any project separated from the front-end or the presentation layer. Thus, it gives uh, the freedom to design the front end of your website using the framework of your choice. If you have to create an account, uh, as you can see, the free package tier from the Contentful and it will be enough for uh, most of the users. So after following a couple the content models, so you have to create a content model and then you create a content. And this tutorial, we will create a content by providing adjacent data. You can provide anything, title, any uh, or uh, uh, any fields let's say but I provided and just one field and call the news and then it has a JSON data that we will fetch the new flutter app you can call it any uh, anything you want for me I uh, you call the tutorials blocks actually it's a news so flutter create uh, and then your uh, app name then you will need to install two three packages HTTP and so and then flutter custom types the HTTP to make the request calls and then the Intel is for formatting the date and then for Flutter custom tabs is actually to open the URLs but you can uh, it's up to the it's up to you because uh, this is more uh, my preference choice to open uh, links in uh, in our page so we start first by uh, we start by creating a new services class and this class will be responsible by uh, getting or fetching the data from the contentful so what we need to do is first I will bring the instance of formatter just to have the formatter as uh, as like this, and then we will make a new uh, a new uh, a new method to get in all the whole news. This will be future and it will return always a list of the news. Now you can see that the this news is the model that we have created. It's already imported in the top. Now the first thing that I will do is that getting the uh, secrets or which is face ID access token and entry ID and here I will make a new URI where I can pass the the CDN contentful.com which is the base of your URI, uh, URL uh, endpoint and then we will pass the rest of the endpoint here we will pass also the space ID that comes from the environment and the last thing we will pass also the access token and this will uh, make sure the URI is fully complete now I will wrap it with the try catch to get all the, the data and try to do back to see what the error will be there but in the end I will always return in a full uh, an empty array that will make sure that uh, it will not break the app so first we get the URI by getting the HTTP get uh, URI and then we decode it the response body for here we will make a new list we get the JSON data it will be in the fields and in the news if you remember we saw in the JSON data our field is called the news we can get also the title but we don't really need it for now and then uh, since we have already a JSON data uh, that gets an array we can put this one in the news uh, model so here you can either use this JSON data or use a constructor inside the news model to format this JSON. For me, I didn't see that much differences, so I put this one here. And in the end, we will just return the news. Uh, in the main Dart file, uh, we get rid of all the initials on Flutter boilerplate. And then what we need to do is uh, actually just uh, in, uh, make an instance for, in, for the new surface. So you can here make it a new surface and then instantiate it in the init state. And then when we build the app, we need actually to have the future builder. So you can wrap this in the uh, in the whole uh, screen, or you can wrap it in a specific um, widget that you want. For example, I for my uh, app is it's very small app, so I'll wrap it in main screen. Now we pass the new service as a get a news because this will return as a future. And then here we will just make sure that the data is not null, and then we try to. And uh, this is more a UI changes, so uh, you can uh, play with it. So what I'm doing is just getting the title and then getting also 
the the date the formatted date here by uh, by the way and then here uh, we need to get the source so sometimes the source can be key so we put an optional parent now whenever you type in it we push a new route that will give us a new detail page where we pass the news uh, the, the selected news as uh, the news index and that's it mostly of it and then in case of there is no data we just print a progress indicator there is another way you can pass it as a an argument for the for the route and you can get it by saying model route uh, model of context settings for, uh, as an argument and as a block so this is also an optional now we, it's another screen so we just print the app bar we can take the, the block title but the title we know already it will gonna be really long so it's best to get either the source or the ID and uh, and here it's mostly also a UI changes so you just print the title uh, the description and, and it's up to you and then what when it's published that and when the content now but in the end I try to put the source URL which is coming from the news and whenever I have this lunch URL, it will be a uh, fire. This lunch URL will use the custom tabs that I have talked about and it will try to launch the URL. The idea is that it has a really customized uh, options, especially for uh, Safari or for, uh, for Android. For example, it will take this as all these options as in, uh, for the default, uh, let's say, options. And here it will be for uh, animation for it's, uh, for uh, Android and both in, in iOS. But here it's more be specific for iOS to get the Safari View controller, and that's and that's really nice because it's really uh, give you the same uh, browser uh, behavior of Safari in your app. So I think that's it. Uh, this is our Contentful, and this is how you connect Contentful with your app. With that, thank you for watching and happy coding.